Hello, folks, and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. We're here on the eastern coast, just basically hanging out. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of missions to do, as indicated thusly. Um, so the best thing to do is probably just go ahead and take these um, from the south up, right? So that probably means it's time to do Archer Time again. Whether we like it or not, it's Archer Time. I mean, he seems all right. It's just... He had a clear shot the last time we saw his tutor, or his tutor? No, his student. He's the tutor. Right. And the minor range charmer is going to be freaking useless, but sure, why not? We'll go over to him and see what happens. Ghost and the Demon Sensei. All right. I mean, he does not seem to be the best teacher, to be honest. It seems like maybe... He might have pushed his student a little bit, and that might be why she decided to go with the Mongols, but we'll see. I mean, it, it's easy to blame him, but really, I mean, at least part of the blame also falls on her. I don't think... Oh, okay. I guess we're just doing this then. Uh, do you guys want to stand off? Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Okay, looks like there's only three of them, so we might be able to do this one, two, three here. Okay, just come right up to me then. Didn't even try to faint me out. To be honest, I was not expecting you guys to be here. Oh, well, there's still more dudes. Hello. Oh. All right. I did take a hit there, but it was worth it. Oh, damn it. It's okay not die. There he is. Alright. That was it. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Anybody still struggling so I can get a little bit of uh, resolve back? No? Alright. Well, that happens. Uh, what were they? Did they just on the road? Just randomly? Just some Mongols? I don't see any hostages or anything, so I guess so. All right, then. Off we go. That's too bad. I could have used additional uh, rumor or something, but I suppose that might be too much to ask for. Okay. Uh, let's get on our horse. So come. And up somehow? I'm probably through the bamboo forest. It's, it's possible there's actually a path up here. No guarantees, but there's, there's a possibility. I mean, it's not terribly far. I could probably do this on foot, but actually, we're not even riding that hard, so maybe. Probably don't actually need the bamboo at all. We've we've got full upgrades for our. Uh, actually, is it both our bows? It's at least one of our bows. I don't know if it's both of them. Okay, so there's our mission there theoretically. Looking at the things here. Um, do we one care of about? training camps is around here. Yeah, which is something I want, but what is this? And there's some flowers around. Oh, there's a black dye merchant here. Okay. Um, I don't know if we care about that. But we haven't been here yet, so whatever. Let's try it out. It's interesting you set up in a cave at random. So, uh, hello there. A samurai. Are you alive or a spirit? Yeah, alive. a little both. For now. And wondering what you do here. I feared the secrets of my dyes would go to waste. But a samurai lives. My colors are midnight. Trees blackened by fire. Eyes dark with yearning. Bring me the right materials. And I will clothe you, my lord. I mean, I have clothes. It's just that I want different colors on those clothes. A little bit different. I mean, I guess... Sure... Okay, he just wants flowers. That's dead simple. That's dead fucking simple. Yeah, sure, why not? Get piercing shadows. War hapo, sure. The Mongols will think the very shadows have come for them. Oh, that's probably not true, but okay. Um, let's see, armor die. I mean, cool stuff. We don't know what that is yet. Yasaka armor black is actually not horrible. I'm just not wild about the pauldrons, man. 
Um, and then this I thought we'd already done, but I'm okay, maybe not. Legend of Blackhand Riku, whoever that is. And we're not really using mass, so yeah, we can do that, but I also don't care. Goodbye. All right. How many supplies around you? No. So how would dying with flowers work? Like dying it black with flowers. You just dye it all the colors and then see if that works out? Or do you... I don't know. It seems strange. I mean, I guess there are black flowers, but they're super rare. Which I guess is why the black dyer is actually ah, super rare. The ghost! Don't kill me! What's going on? Take whatever you want. It's funny that he's recognized as the ghost. Like, you think the ghost would be a legend? They're like, you're not the ghost. But no, everyone knows who it is. I swear I won't tell anyone. I'm not a thief. Huh. Everyone knows you're attacking caravans. The ghost and the demon Sensei. Sensei Ishikawa? That's a lie. I've heard you myself. Heard us? When? Not long ago. Tearing up the road like starving wolves. Okay. Wouldn't be the first time we dealt with an imposter. In the game, even. How are Sensei Isko and I being blamed for highway robbery? Head north. Find out who's responsible. I mean, it's obviously thieves. Could we straw hunt Ronin? Maybe. I mean, they'd have to give up their fancy, fancy straw hats, and what would make them look like samurai? I mean, I guess... I guess, really, to be fair, Jin Sakai has occasionally dressed in Ronin gear, so if you just say you're the Phantom... Oh, but see, the guy recognized this, though. Very similar horse. He's just stupid? He might just be stupid. That might just be the answer. I mean, how he recognizes us, but also recognized our imposter as us, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Oh, hello there. Throw your blades. Okay, there's only like two or three shield guys here. Come on. Come on. Almost didn't make that one, but it worked. Okay. That was simple. Got ourselves a ticking point and everything. I guess you're dead, right? Yeah, okay. You're not just faking? Kind of rude if you were faking. No. All right. You, you do have something there. Nice. Six of the leather there. We can upgrade Gasuku's armor, but I don't think that really matters. So probably never going to wear it. It's just never going to happen. Ah, uh, that is my horse, I think. North of Kawamata Village. Uh, where is this exactly? Um, okay, we're going to the circle area. Okay, that's fine. We do have a... Oh, we did not actually get our full technique point. It filled out the bloody circle. Are you telling me that wasn't good enough? I don't know why I got off my horse. Getting this full circle wasn't actually enough. Uh, let's take the bridge. It's just safer. It's just safer. It's a weird way to get to the bridge, but, you know, these things happen. Yep, that's that's what that is. That's up there. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's go through the bamboo forest. Of course, we've got ourselves some Mongols. All right. Crap, I got hurt. So now to reset my thing. Okay, we can get up here. Well, we'll just have to get these guys with no damage. Get our ghost back. There we go. About time you showed up. You're welcome, Sensei. Oh, there's somebody struggling over here. Oh, there he is. I got you. No worries. There you go. You're welcome. I'm sure he was very grateful. Uh, anybody have anything here? Lots of arrows, which I don't need right now. 
Because they're never ever arrows. And over here, we got nothing. All right. How do you guys get trapped up here? That's the real question. Uh, hello there. You are correct. Are you the imposter? What happened here? His caravan was ambushed. Lots of attacks lately. People say you're stealing supplies. Or sided with the Mongols. Rest easy. I'll discuss this with Lord Sakai. Tomoe is behind this. She sows paranoia and fear. Attacking caravans, blaming us. I caught up to his group too late. Saved him, but not the others. Where was he ambushed? Close. Why? Find the ambush site. Track the rest of Tomoe's group to their camp. That makes sense. What's wrong? What's the hesitation? Nothing. She has me off balance. You'll put an end to that. Rest here. Eat the food I gave you. And wait a while before you leave. Thank you, Sensei. Show me where he was ambushed. Apparently it was a while away. All right, let's go. I mean, it couldn't have been that How did far. you find me? Someone heard a convoy being chased. People avoid the roads because of Tomoe. When I caught wind of a merchant chancing a supply run, I followed. Why would Tomoe attack supply runs in Kushi Prefecture? There's no strategic importance. No. But Kushidera Temple inspires people. It would be a Mongol effort to break morale here. You don't sound convinced. I think that's part of it. Not all. Tomoe betrayed everything I taught her. Then she betrayed me. And after me, her home. I'll hunt her past the horizon if I must. How far did you guys run? I mean, they're probably see near the fires there, but still. Oh, way to go on foot. There's the convoy. And more victims of Tomoe. For a minute there, that there was the edges run. there, but... Nope, he's actually hung up. With a note, apparently. It's a warning to the people of Kushi. From Tomoe. From Lord Sakai and Sensei Ishikawa. No travel is permitted on these roads. On pain of death. Crude, but effective. Okay, what about over here? No other survivors. Japanese and Mongol arrows? Of course. Uh, lots of things burned. What? Oh, there, here we go. Over here. They took off down the road. And we'll find them. This is the last time Tomoe and her men will ambush anyone in Kushi Prefecture. Come. Of course. There you are. You're under somewhere. I mean, you'd think they'd be shooting at us now because, you know, we're on the roads. And they said nobody on the roads. So... Hurry! I guess they're too busy um, killing He's everybody else. Here. Hey, I see the tracks. Quickly, there's no time to scout the camp. Now who's rushing in with his hakama half tied? Yeah, who exactly are you trying to protect here? Why is she here alone? I'll cut her loose. Over here. I mean, if we had had a chance to actually, you know, inspect the camp beforehand, maybe we'd know. Just saying. You'll be free soon. Oh, no. No, please. No. We're here to help. She said... She said... Tomoe? What did she say? She said I could live until the samurai came. Oh, yeah, well... And then shot. No, All right. On the ledge. Damn it. It's funny they still announce themselves. Will you get out of my fucking way? That'll work. Probably shouldn't be using my heavy arrows. Gonna switch over to the half bow. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I totally hit you. There we go. Is that it? I think that was it. Sakai. Tomoe set a trap for us, and we walked right into it. You didn't scout before. I spoke with her two days ago. Tomoe? The captive. Heard her talking about a Japanese woman she saw with the Mongols. I asked her to find out where they were camped and report back. You did what? It could have gone the other way. Kareto. We'd be standing over Tomoe's body instead. You talk about what it means to be a warrior. How Tomoe undermines that. But you and she are the same. You expect us to be perfect. Expect you not to send civilians into battle. Your How uncle, about that? Me, Masako Adachi. But only a child expects perfection of his elders. Finish your thought, Sensei. <laughs> we all carry weapons. We all choose between life and death. And you're too comfortable with that power. And if I weren't, I would be dead. And so would you, ghost. Not everyone can be a samurai. But we're all killers. We still have a camp in Otsuna to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get moving. So I guess this just continues on the mission then. So we're, we're actually, sorry, not continuing on the mission. There we go. There's our technique point. Sitting on it forever. Okay. Trauma Swift Return, which I don't think we care about. But let's just look at it just in case. Miss standard of 20%. Okay, just don't miss. I mean, come on. Just be better. Just be better. All right. Um... It's funny, his mission's not actually, apparently, here. It's over there. But he's standing right in front of us. Like, literally, I can see him. You tell me I can't do the mission here? Nope, because that would be too easy, apparently. Alright, alright. Grab the supplies, grab the iron. Okay, then let's go somewhere else. Uh, let's go back to... Yeah, let's go to Masako. Uh, so there's a farm right there we can fast travel to. So target that. And then up here. The thief. Just a random thief? Or like, how does this work? And Masako's had to deal with a lot of thieves. People who would, you know, steal her livelihood, for instance. Can we hide in the tall grass? Eh, well, it's not really grass. I mean, I guess bamboo is a grass, but that's not what you think of when you think of grass, so. Really young bamboo, too. Hold on, is there supplies over here? Uh, something red. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, supplies. Okay, it's a box. Steel, great. Um, right, the burn compound. Where is our target? Okay, it's this way. Might actually be the, the smoke we see up there. Or at least near enough to it. Search Masako at Kojima Farsh. Okay, so she's just somewhere around. Is she actually on the bridge? Uh, I mean, would it be too hard to ask these guys here, hey, have you guys seen Masako? You guys seen Lady Masako? Anybody? Anybody? No? All right. Ah, I am okay. sorry. I cannot help you. I need information, not apologies. Perhaps the farmers know. Perhaps. <laughs> Lord Sakai. I am uh, worried about her. Okay, I've talked to you first. Sure. Junshin. What was that about? Lady Masako is looking for someone. She is angry I couldn't help. You have nothing to fear. I'll speak with her. Thank you, Lord Sakai. And also for ridding this farmstead of Mongols. Now we can rebuild. These people are lucky to have you. Be well. And there's only like a, what, maybe 60% chance Masako puts an arrow through your skull? So, you know, you have a 40% chance to live. Just look at it that way. The glass is 40% full. Or empty, depending on how you want to look at it. The rage would fill you, right? So. Escorted by armed men. Thank you. That will be all. 
Now, see, the farmers did know something. They just hadn't talked to her yet, so I suppose she wouldn't have actually known yet. Hello, how you doing? Did the farmers know who you're looking for? Someone on the list. A thief. I'll help you find them. I need to handle it myself. The farmer said they left with armed men. Mercenaries. Professional killers. Come on, you know you need the help. It could complicate things. Exactly. I can use your help, but I need your discretion. Discretion what? Sorry. You All the syllables are familiar, but the not The farmer matter. said they went toward the bridge outside the farmstead. It's this way. Hmm? All right, let's go. That's that burned out rack. Hopefully they'll fix that soon. Kind of a blight in this particular area. Though maybe the ash you could actually use for a Who is compass. this thief? She looted Clan Adachi's estate after the attack. Stole valuable heirlooms, personal items. What makes it worse is that Mai was our former servant. Three years ago, my husband caught her stealing. He wanted to have her flogged. I did what I could for her, but she had to go. It almost sounds like you miss her. She was a dear friend. Her betrayal stings more than the others. Well, give you this, Lady Masaka. You sure can pick him. Oh, look at that. Some straw hat Ronan. That can't be good. We can sneak up on him. We can just throw an explosion right in their feet. Does that work? All right, let's go over here. Probably sneak, right? I'm going to sell everything. I'm just waiting for the right time. Too late. He'll sell those heirlooms himself. Now take us to them. I'll pay you to leave them with me. You have no money. I have this comb. It's gold. With pearl inlay. That was a gift. It might fetch a fair price. No. We'd have our heads. Enough of this. Take us to the heirlooms. We don't need the mercenaries alive for questioning. Just her. The more of them we eliminate, the easier it'll be to recover what's yours. Just don't be seen, or they might hurt her. Defeat four of the Ronin without being seen. Okay, let's go under the bridge, because that seems safer than going on the bridge. Careful. You'll be in the open. Find cover. I mean, there's tons of grass over there. We just need to get to it. Can we jump up this way? No, of course not. That's too hard. Okay, so we'll go around this side. The Earthly won't be looking this way. Take out. Oh, there they are. They don't see us yet. If we get to sneak up on them like one at a time here, we do have chain assassination. I don't know how well that's gonna work though. Look, he's distracted. I'll take him. And nobody else is paying attention to Saka, this guy. Step back. How far? Is oh, Let's go. okay. Someone's here. Nope. Okay, I should have chain assassinated instead. That would have been better. Because there were only three of them, right? We can totally chain assassinate for three. Okay, let's try that again. I think what we do is we we definitely go on this side. We go on the left side. We just wait until they're further up. So they're just going to go ahead and keep walking that direction. And that should be fine. Let's go. Yeah, wait until the one guy is distracted. And then one, two, three, push. Should be easy. He won't get distracted until he goes off to the rock, maybe to pee or something. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Look, he's distracted. I'll take him. Yeah, I think he was gonna shit or something. I think he was actually like he was ready to go to the restroom. Right, here we go. Chain assassination. There you go. No, what? Oh, okay. We can't alert her. I didn't realize that was actually a requirement. You think she'd be scared in his submission? Me having just taken out all four of her Ronin guards without even being spotted? 
You think she'd be cowed with that? But no, apparently we need to just take them some one at a time. Okay. All right. All right. I was trying to be quick and effective and efficient, but no, not going to happen. Okay. I think they're far enough. Let's go. I think I can get him as he gets to the rock. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we just need to wait for the distraction point for each of these guys. Look, he's distracted. I'll take it. Okay. Then we wait. Take it nice and slow. No reason to rush. How far is your hiding spot? A fair distance. I'll tell your story. The best of all. Once there was a girl who worked in a tea house. Her life was hard and had no cutter. One day, a monk from far away came to the tea house, and the two fell instantly in love. Think this guy's gonna peel off? Maybe. It's like two of them peeled off, which is actually good. We can chain here. There we go. So she might not have even noticed this. Too close. All right, Masako says too close. We'll wait till this guy peels off. My wife knows that magic. We all do. The girl flew Sakai, the demon step back. to the monk's monastery, but the monk saw her coming and hid under a bell. She was clever though, and cast fire around the bell, melting and killing the monk. Can we murder this guy now? Come on, why are we why are we hanging back? Okay, now he's gone ahead. Which does not help us. Oh god damn it. God damn it. So we have to just take this anyway? Bullshit. Alright, whatever. Whatever. There we go. Okay, wait for it. Didn't actually work, but okay. Okay, anybody left? No. So basically we just have to wait until we're caught. That's just silly. We could totally have taken this out and yeah, it story. Damn story. The way they went told. Jin, I need to speak with Mai. She's right there. I'm here if you need me. Just, you know, you know, don't kill her. We kind of need her, but sure. You stole my family's heirlooms for those murderers. How could you betray me? I didn't. You betrayed me. Turned me away. I saved you. My husband wanted you flogged. He knew. Then you should have left with me. I was the lady of Clan Adachi. And you were a thief. I still love you. Then tell me who you serve. He killed my family. And he'll kill me. I won't let him touch you. I don't know if he's got an arrow with her name on it. Can you I'll stop him? I'll take your family's things. And that's not actually answer the question, though. So, like, how does that help? We know the man you work for is a samurai. I don't know his name. Never saw his face. He communicated only through notes. He knew about us, my lady. How? I don't know. He said... He knew what it was like to love you, that he understood my pain. Masako. Mai was my only... has been the only... He was anxious about the heirlooms, concerned they get broken. He's eager to sell them. Their value is purely sentimental. He won't get the money he seeks. Then perhaps he has no intention of selling. It's possible they're personal to him too. He was possessive in his notes. 
spoke as if they were his. The heirlooms belong to no one but my family. I am the only one who remains. I don't know about that now. Her husband's certainly dead, right? Your heirlooms are in the brush, Jin. Will you gather them? I need to say goodbye. Okay. You are going to say those missing. I think there's just boxes here. Okay, family flutes. Which I don't think we should be able to use, but I think they're gonna let us anyway. Thank you. Where's my? She's gone home. You're actually gonna let her back? I suppose her husband's Jean, dead. Might as well have I her lover. You, know. not... you don't owe me an explanation. I cared for my husband. But I cared for Mai, too. You still do? I think I always will. The man we hunt has feelings for you. Yeah. Other than my husband and Mai, I've had no romances, no admirers. I mean, you don't know about that second part. He could have been lying, feigning sympathy to gather recruits. I just don't know who would do that. You'll keep searching. It's only a matter of time. My work in Toyotama isn't finished. Meet me when you can. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Hard to tell. I mean, it seems a little odd. I'm really suspecting now that her husband survived somehow, but then why would he go out for revenge and not just, you know... Why would he kill the rest of his family? It doesn't really make any sense. Okay, just stagger damage, big deal. Big deal. We should get a technique, though. Um, da -do -do -do. Uh, actually, explosive shrapnel is not a bad idea. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this. That's two. Thank you. All right. And let's see who's nearby. Or what's nearby. All right, we've got... Shrine here with smoke coming to location. Sure, why not? Why not? Over that away. I have sure enough there's smoke up there. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who would actually... I mean, it could be anybody. It's a samurai, but there's not very many samurai left. As evidenced by, you know, the graves here. Um, yeah, it seems awfully suspicious that there'd be a lover that she doesn't actually know of. Well, this is a little suspicious. There doesn't seem to be anybody here. Uh, yep. Has been desecrated. These guys are super dead. Do this. The fox is even dead. That's just rude. Slain and left to rot. Utter contempt for these sacred messengers. Completely destroyed. This took time and effort. I mean, yeah, somebody clearly knocked it over. And cut the rock in twain? I mean, that's that's effort for sure. You faced. There's no doubt this was purposeful. Well, so much for this scenario, Shrine. The, um... Oh, those are foxtails. Is someone really hunting foxes? Maybe there's something against the Inari? What happened here was an act of hate. Do you know who did this? Yeah, little fox. Let's, let's go. Come on, let's go. Move faster, little fox. Usually so good at moving quickly. They must be responsible. Uh, don't bet on it. I don't know, that seems too simple. Okay, just had a black powder bomb on him. Uh, what else we got? We've got... 
Oh, nothing. There's nothing here. A bunch of bad guys. Okay, so where did Zinari go? Yeah, there you are. Hello. Oh, you're, you're apparently playing... Yeah. So he just has maybe some friends? Okay, there's a beehive. That's fine and dandy, but not helpful. Oh, okay. Another guy. Oh, damn it. Okay, he's dead. Oh, and then there's this guy. Hello. And goodbye. There's another guy over there. Let's see if we can do this proper. Let's do the full bow here. There we go. Just need to get those headshots. Um, somebody else? Oh, there is somebody else. With the dog. There. Now he's crawling a little bit, so we should probably go over and make sure he's dead. And Yeah, just dead, dead. We'll save ghost mode in case we need to poke anybody later. Alright, little fox man. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Alright, here we go. Oh, and we got new guys. Okay, so there's a dog here. We're gonna take out the dog. There we go. And then over on this side, take you out. Okay, following you. There's a shit ton. Oh, okay, I'm out. So, trade over. Guess I didn't really need to use heavy arrows, but... Now, yeah, let's wait for a good shot. Damn it. Not what I meant to do, but okay. There we go. I mean, if, if we're lucky, everyone else would be called there, too. Take the dog out. So, of course, we don't actually have to shot the dog. Oh, damn it. There. Now the dog's out. Where did the other Mongols go? Okay, there we go. Okay, that was great. So there's at least two more Mongols. Go ahead and poke over that direction. And he's pretty far. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, hold on, wait up. There was a dog I just heard. It seemed to be close, but maybe it actually wasn't that close. Okay, so make sure the bees get him here. There we go. He's going to be killed to death by bees. There we go. He's dead. Okay. Then we poke you. I'm going to try to get this right. A little bit above your head. There we go. That worked. Wasn't technically a headshot, but it was enough damage to take him out anyway. So we're good. Thought I heard dog, though. Oh, yep. There's a dog right there. Or no, that's not a dog. That's a, that's a mongol. Eh, Mongol, dog. Same difference. Uh, so there we go. There's a dog over that way. Okay, so we'll go over here. Make sure the dog's taken care of, maybe. You take this guy out. I don't know. He turned around. They have killed so many. Destroyed what is sacred. The dog's dead. Okay. Yep, he'll see us. Damn it. He moved at, like, the last possible second. So now they know we're here. Alright, we'll, we'll turn on ghost mode pretty soon. Right about... Here. Let's go. Let's take down the big guys first if we can. Take the dog out. I think that actually countered for my three, but that's okay. Alright, that's fine. Go to big guy stance. There we go. And then over here. 
Okay, we gotta take out the, the archers. Back you up. Alright, we got one more archer. Let's go. You're doomed. Probably should have run. Probably should have run. Okay, now it's just you. And now it's nobody. They can no longer harm you or any other divine messenger. May it's funny the find peace. All the foxes are here. And somehow they knew that Jin Sakai would help them out. Almost makes you believe in the Inari. Actually, the percent chance to occur are 50% more likely. Yeah, but if we're like 20%, 50% or 20% is 10%. So that means it's only 30% more likely, or 30% likely. Right? It's not ad additive, it's multiplicative, which is different. So, it's an okay idea, but I don't actually know if we have anything that's actually like anything I want there. I mean, maybe, but who knows. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the camp. I don't think there's anything down there, but we might as well check. Ooh. Okay. I didn't die. I didn't die. Because we had that resolve ability. Yeah, I spent a lot of resolve doing that, though. Don't know if that was worth it. Anything over here? Get supplies. Black powder bomb, which I can't pick up. And, okay, there's no way this came from foxes. This looks like more like deer. These are fox hides, though. Interesting, they're all silver foxes. Why aren't they red? That is super strange. Uh, Left out in the sun? No, that doesn't really work. I'm really puzzled as to how this actually works. They've been killing silver foxes, which is, it's just, you know, it's, it's bad, but there's, there's no sign of any red foxes, which is most of the ones we've actually been exposed to. So we haven't seen a silver fox. I don't remember seeing any silver foxes. It's not entirely sure what's up with that. Very strange. Might as well go ahead and grab this undiscovered location behind us. Watch it be in an Ari shrine. Or a fox den, in other words. It's not too terribly far away. Or um, a hot spring. There seem to be a lot of hot springs inside the bamboo forest for some reason. Uh, don't see any red leaves, so... No, Lord Shimura's camp. What the what now? Uh, does not say Mongol territory. Oh, I can't get up that way, huh? Okay. Kind of would expect it to be... Hostile territory here, but maybe not. Can I sneak in? Ah, they seem to have fortified a little bit better than most of the Mongols have. So I guess we'll just go ahead and take the regular road up. Watch should be full of Mongols. Oh no, there's actually like shopkeepers and stuff. Okay, Lord Shimura has apparently just managed to keep his stuff safe. I mean, way to go. But also kind of surprising. The trapper over there, but I can't do anything with these, right? I think the most I can do is upgrade my armor right now. Oh, yeah, you guys are training and everything. Okay. I mean, that's cool. But, well, if it's a surviving samurai, could this guy be Lady Misako's admirer from afar? It seems kind of suspicious, so maybe. But there's no real way to tell, I don't think. Not until the story resolves itself. Anything in here? Yeah, there's not even upstairs. Yeah, I was hoping for some kind of supplies somewhere, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get anything here. Yeah, there's the merchant there, but nothing I can take for my own purposes. Okay. Well. Cool and all, but not helpful. Um, yep, that's right. That's Lord Shimura's camp. So, what about here? Tap that. Fast travel here. 
I need to go that way. Over the mountain, I think. Is that right? Yeah, over the mountain is what it says. Whether or not we actually need to do that, nothing entirely. Follow the bird, it knows the way. It's been a little while since we've been up here. Since we were going up against the Straw Hat Ronin who called us out. Oh, uh, looks like a high, high, high Q spot, maybe? It is totally a high Q spot. Alright, sure, why not? We'll come as a high Q. Just to wrap up the episode here. All right, what are we contemplating today? Preservation. Okay. Preservation. I mean, that's kind of what this is about. All of them kind of denote preservation. That's almost never sure. Uh, let's go with this way. And, okay, that's not a bad idea. Mm, not wild about that one. There we go, we'll go with that. Holding ever fast. A journey's path never known. Viewing the future. Not our strongest haiku, but not necessarily our weakest either. Um, let's view it. Yeah, actually, that's okay. I mean, I do like the headband of survival. Actually, let's just go ahead and get our tat here. Let's get the revine tat. I'm gonna stun. Eh, I'm not worried about the red. Not worried about the red. Okay. That'll do for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Ghost of Tsushima. I'm Peace the Universe here, Peace the Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.